all things sports and entertainment. So Ryan Garcia, who has been out on a suspension for testing not once, not twice, but three t- three times for a, a banned substance, is uh, scheduled to come back in 2025. Now Oscar De La Hoya put on X that he has a potential b- opponent for t- for Ryan Garcia, and that is uh, Teofimo Lopez. Now Ryan Garcia, who's also never won a belt, is um, pretty much not worried worry about a title. Per Teddy Atlas, and he had this to say, quote, Garcia is in a place where he doesn't have to be attached to a belt, pretty much because of his fan base. And people want to know, you know, is he really that good? Is he, is he too big, too strong? Can he do that to someone else? Now, Ryan Garcia is, is technically in a, or actually, in a legal battle with Devin Haney, as Devin Haney has sued Ryan Garcia pretty much for defamation because Ryan Garcia knocked David Haney down three times and because Ryan Garcia tested positive, which Devin Haney lost, turned into a no contest, he finally took it legally, right? This And it's, it's just funny, right, when it comes to boxing. All these people are acting like Ryan Garcia did not test positive. Now, I'm glad that the WBC actually had the, the balls to step up and do something, which is why Ryan Garcia is in the undisputed game. But when we're talking about just all these legendary fighters, people are saying it don't matter if Ryan Garcia was on performance enhancements. He still knocked down Devin Haney. We can't unsee that. But when it comes to anybody else, you, you, have no, you have no problem with it. And it's just funny because this story, honestly, is probably worse than the Bronny LeBron soccer that's going on right now with the Lakers, which is pretty much a circus. This is, this is worse, honestly. And Ryan Garcia... These fans, right, keep saying, well, man, I mean, well, Lucas, he only took uh, a tiny amount, a tiny amount. Okay, well, let's just say hypothetically we can go with your theory, right? I don't try the same ones who crying when Tank Davis weight drained you by just a measly, what, four pounds? Ryan Garcia said, oh, I was too tired, and he knew he was going to lose before the fight, and he ended up tapping out when he uh, when Tank hit him in the liver. Y'all remember that? And he took a knee, and when the ref counted to 10, he finally stood up. Y'all was making excuses about that all day. Well... We all know that performance enhancements is something that's a no-no in any sport, especially a contact sport. But because people have this hatred towards Devin Haney, and look, if the roles were reversed, I would I would give the same energy. When when we thought that Ryan actually won a clean fight, a clean fight, I came on here and ate crow the next day. My video is still up there if y'all if y'all want to go see it. But because y'all are obsessed with this man and you are obsessed with seeing Devin Haney get cheated, and which he did because he Brian Garcia tested positive, y'all don't even care. That's how that's how wicked boxing has became. But anytime somebody else cheats, y'all call people, oh, they mean you cheaters, man. No, man, we got to clean up the sport. Okay, well, shouldn't Ryan Garcia be, be banned? And also for his racist rant. And it's, and it's kind of funny that people keep telling me, oh, man, you talking about race. Boxing's always been about race, especially when you have different fighters from different cultures. What are you talking about? Even when Joe Lewis fought Max Schmeling, that was a... <laughs> That was pretty much about countries, you know. Go back and look at go back and look at how Germany was in the 1930s. It, it, it's a quick Google research or a YouTube video. So boxing has always been more than just the two boxers in there. But it, 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 and it's funny because you know Ryan can go on a literally on a racist rant, and you'll have people come out five minutes later and say, "Well, he didn't mean it," and. Even uh, he's just talking, and I know Ryan, and Ryan's going to get help. And then Ryan comes out and says, "Well, I'm, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go get counseling." And then it just act like it don't happen. But if Devin Haney say something, you know, if I say something, the 78 say something, the two walls say something, then you want us to apologize, and we, you know, we pulling a race card and all of that. That's why I'm just, you know, this is just, it's, it's just, it's wicked, and boxing has really became wicked, and it, it's no longer the sport that us true diehard fans grew up watching and yes it's always been bs and we've always had cheaters in boxing but we've never seen a fan base just say man pretty much fuck it <laughs> it don't matter and it's just wild because Devin haney was literally cheated in the ring so i just want to get my quick thoughts about it i mean and uh, all oh, and look if they fight each other to ryan whatever man i mean i highly doubt the fight's gonna happen but if they fight, they fight. You know, I really don't care for neither one of them two fighters. But it is what it is. Of course, I'm gonna I'm gonna make videos about it because you know this is a business at the end of the day. But personally, you know, you got one person over here running around calling people monkeys and everything else, and then you got Ryan Garcia joking about 
bringing George Floyd back to life to delete him again. And then y'all wonder why a lot of us got a problem with these with these guys. And again, I want y'all, I, 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 I want you, you disagree, don't come on here, don't insult me. Let's actually have a, an intelligent conversation, you know, and don't tell me about, oh, man, Devin should be suing him because uh, Aaron Pryor sued Sugar Ray Leonard. And I can keep going on and on. Mike Tyson sued Don King. Y'all was talking about, man, Don King, well, Mike Tyson, man. Oh, okay, well, d didn't Mike Tyson take Don King to court? I didn't see nobody calling him a coward and, man, he shouldn't be suing Don and all of that. So, no, nah, man, no. Nah. Don't pick and choose when you want to have issues when it comes to Devin Haney. And again, if Devin Haney tested positive for the same amount that Ryan Garcia tested positive for, it would be World War III. Devin Haney would have been banned. Nobody would ever want him to come back. And that's all people would have known was, me and Devin Haney cheated Ryan Garcia. So I didn't want to get my quick thoughts about it. And again, if y'all going to disagree, let's actually have a, an adult conversation about this. But yeah, tell me what y'all think.